Greetings, Internet. I'm Janie Danger, and this is my pull list for April 2nd. Skeezy dudes are the least of our new favorite naked girls' problems in Veil number two. It looks like the outsiders have gotten the best of Ollie in Green Arrow number 30, but he's pulled himself out of stickier situations, right? William and Nika are finally together, just in time for the fabric of the universe to unravel, just in time for catastrophe. No, really, how is Trillium number eight gonna end? Am I gonna cry? I'm kind of a baby. I cry a lot. Monkey ghosts. Yep, that's right. Black science number five, monkey ghosts. Plus, we're gonna find out who sabotaged the pillar. A jerk. It's a showdown between death and Ginny in Pretty Deadly number five. Natasha has to check out some less than a reputable sources in Black Widow number five to bring down the hammer. Totally unrelated to Thor's hammer. Not the same hammer. More than one hammer in the Marvel Universe. In Loki, Agent of Asgard number three, Loki manages to go back in time and crash, I guess, the first Asgardian party ever without actually showing up. That's impressive. Eric's on the hunt for the bad guy who's turning humans into sentinels in Magneto number two. Moon Knight protects the streets. Meanwhile, he's going a little crazy after coming back from the dead. Definitely picking up the second issue of this series. I love the first issue. I'm probably the most excited for She-Hulk number three. We're going to see Jin take a crack at providing asylum for Victor Von Doom's son. This comic keeps very in tune with Marvel's, ooh, look how clever we are line of stories. In Red Sonja number eight, Sonja continues to search for the king's weirdest entourage ever. This time she's finding an animal trainer. A manga style story about Red Sonja done by the guy who does Samurai Jack. Uh, yes, Sonja and Kev one shot. Get into my pull list. And before I interpretive dance to a comment, be sure to like this video, share, ugh, ugh. sub share, subscribe share, 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 share. I am so good at English. It's like my fourth language. Cricket, I was very moved by your attempt to do a Danny Danger interpretive dance and melodrama. So for you, I will be interpretive dancing Daredevil. Ready? That's all I got. A special thanks, as always, goes out to Austin Books and Comics. I may get in trouble for saying this, but supporter of all interpretive dance everywhere. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs>